Are you looking for a cool photo effect for a presentation or a video? How about this one? So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I created it. So the first thing we want to do, we want to go and you can go ahead and pick your background color out. For this, you're going to want to use a solid color. So I'm going to pick my solid color out. I'm going to go into elements next. And what I'm going to do is go and pick out my frames that I want to use. So for this, I'm going to just do two. I am going to do the triangle, which I did in the original. I saw this in a commercial and I thought it was kind of cool. And it was kind of a different effect, but I kind of put my own spin on it. And what I want to do next is I want to get, I want to use this one. So what I want to do is put this one on top and kind of size it to the same shape, the same size of this triangle. And put it on the other side. Now, let me make sure. Sometimes that little purple line highlighting, it's not all the way over. I'm going to bump it a little bit. Bumping means that I'm using my arrow keys to do some fine adjustments. So and now that I have that done, I'm going to go back into my elements and I'm going to go grab a couple of photos. So I'm going to grab this puppy, this puppy, and I'm going to put puppy like so, just a puppy face. And I am going to grab this puppy over here and put that puppy over there and size that up. And we'll do puppy, two puppies. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to your shapes and grab a square. Now for the moment, we're going to keep that square this color. And oh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to size my line up. So oh, however thick you want to do it, this is where you're going to do it. So I'm going to pull it. And I want to pull a little bit off the page on both ends, just a little bit. And then you're going to go how thin you want to make that line. So I've been doing about between 10 and 12 for these. So I'm just going to do 10. So you're going to just duplicate. So I'm going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we'll do it with 10. So I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to go into position. I'm going to go into arrange. I'm going to push center and middle. Now they're all the same. And then I'm going to go and line them up like so. And I am going to do this. I want it right at the tip of my frame here. And then I'm going to drag one. I'm going to unhighlight them. I am going to drag one over to the edge. Not all the way to the edge, but just to the edge with a little bit of the picture going. Then what I want to do now is I'm going to highlight these and then I am going to go back into my arrange and I'm going to push tidy up. Hey, what did you just do? You should not have done that. Okay, let's undo and see what we did wrong. Ah, I know what we did wrong. So let me show you my error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these like so. I'm going into position. When I highlight it, it grabbed my frame. So first off, I'm going to go into layers. I'm going to put hold the control key. I am going to unhighlight just the dog photo, the, the frame. Now, it, if as you can see, it is just my lines. That's where I messed up. So if you do that, that's how you undo that. So now I'm going to push tidy up. So now I have my lines across my photo. So what I want to do next is I want to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go, I'm just going to copy those and I'm going to bring them over to the other side like so. Now, so we can see what I'm going to do too is I'm going to change the color of these to a uh, let's go pink. That way when we go and start moving these, we can see the colors. And it's real easy to fix that afterwards and we'll fix, fix it afterwards. So now I have my base set up. I'm going to go and I'm going to duplicate this page. Now what I want to do is I want to grab, I want to pull my position tab open because this is going to be very helpful when you do this part. So I want to grab my first one. What I want to do is pull it to the center of the next one over. Then I'm going to find the next one over on my uh, layers tab. 
I'm going to highlight that and pull it over to the center of the next one. If you don't pull it over to the center, you will be able to see hairlines of the photo and the back behind it. And if you see any of those, you know you didn't pull that one over for far enough. So I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to go to the next one. I am going to pull it. And then I'm going to just keep go doing that all the way across. I'm going to go over to the next and pull. I'm going to scroll down, grab the next one and pull. I'm going to the next one and I'm going to pull. And the reason I did two different colors on this is because these is so I know which picture I'm working on instead of having all these lines here and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't f find which line goes to which one over here. That way you know they're kind of all in a group. And see when I moved one over to tidy up, the very last one actually is at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that one off the page. Now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. So I'm going to grab the first one. I am going to pull it over to the center of the next one and do the same thing over here. So I'm going to grab these and I'm going to pull them over to the center. And then I'm going to click. See that one's at the end where we did the tidy up. So I'm going to go and try to find where the next one is. And I want to go in order of the direction I'm going. So I'm just going to keep hitting them and make sure I'm going that same direction. So having these two different colors helps out a whole lot. Instead of like, oh, everything's the same color. I'm having, I'm being confused of which one I'm working on with it being two different colors. So you can actually see it's just a, for me, it's very helpful. Otherwise you go and click on one and that one's brown, that one's brown. Holy moly, which one am I trying to do? I don't even know. So we're doing this one now. Let's go and pull this one to the center of this one. Oh, come on, mouse. And pull that over to the center of this one. And this should be the last one. We're going to pull that over off the page. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight all these. What I'm going to do is go down, hit my control key, unhighlight the frames. So hold the control key and click on your both, both your photo frames down here. It keeps everything highlighted. I'm going to up to my colors and I'm going to change it to my background color. Then we're going to go to the first one and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go over, highlight everything, go into position, scroll down, hold my control key, unhighlight the two photo frames, and then I'm going to go up to my colors and change it to the background colors. Now, here's where the fun starts. So what I want to do is my one that's got both of them open. I'm going to duplicate that page. Now, if you're just doing one, you don't have to worry about this. All you're going to do is do the same thing back and forth. But if you want to do two on one page, this is how we're going to do it. So now what I want to do is have only one of these on here. So say I'm going to do this one first. So what I want to do, the real easy way to do it is just go here, highlight all this, delete it, come over to this one, highlight this, control C, put it on this one, control V. Okay. So I want to do the other side. I'm going to do the exact same process. I'm going to duplicate the page. I am going to go put it, well, I can leave it here, just whatever order you want to do it in. So now I want to do this one. I'm going to highlight all these. I'm going to trash it. I'm going to go over to my one where they're all closed. I am going to highlight that part. I am going to control C. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to control B it this way. They can, you'll see them open and close. So what I want to do is say, if you want to start off with both of them closed and then end with both of them open, that's oops. We're going to move that to the end. So now we're going to organize our pages. Oops. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. So you're going to have a closed. You're going to have one side. You're going to have the other side and then you can have both and you don't have to do that. That is just up to you. 
If you don't want both, you can delete that page and not do that at all. If you just want to do one picture at a time and just have this here and change the pictures out, you don't even have to worry about this side. That is just up to you how intricate you want to do this design. So, and then you can slap your text on there. We'll just slap this on here. And then like you can have this over here. And then well, that's great. What else? What else is free? Um, this over here. And then we can put, uh, hello, how are you? And this one. Okay. So now we slap some text in there. What I want to do now is I'm going to go in here and you're going to set up your match and move. You know me, I want to turn it up all the way, apply between all pages. And then you're going to set your timing, whatever your timing wants to be. Um, this one actually has a 2.5 on it. We're going to make them all 2.5. One try, two try, three try, uh, 2.6. Hey, I'll take it. So another thing you want to do, too, if you look, you'll see some of the, it depends if you use the movements. You might want to use some of the timing features for your text. So say... Let's go in here and put your timing. See how it's going into the next one? I would shorten that up and then I would go over here, grab this one. I don't want it in here. I want it to pop up like after my or during while this one is coming in. So I would just adjust these and hit them right in and out at that point. Oh, let's go to this one, the fun house one, and just change our timing up. And same thing with here. We're just going to change our timing up. And then if you look at it, it see how they don't like the movement. Go, it's, it's a little bit smoother that way. All right. So I am going to go and I'm going to hide the timing on this. Let's hide the timing. And so say you want to do a bunch of these. So you want to change the photos behind here. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So I'm going to duplicate this first page where they're all naked, I guess you can say, closed. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do this. We're, so you want to do that if you close it up and then you're going to duplicate. So you didn't do this one, the end one like here, because you're going to keep going. So I'm going to delete that page and then I'm going to have it where it goes and closes back up into... I think. So I'm going to have another one where I'm going to change all the colors. So first thing of all, what I want to do is change this to a pink. I'm going to go and hit up my background, make that pink. I'm going to go and I'm going to duplicate this page. So what I want to do now is I am going to highlight all this like so, and then I'm going to go, I just want to get rid of my lines. So I'm going to hit my control, make sure my frame stays there, and I am going to delete this. So I'm going to go to the slide that has my lines in it. So what I want to do is highlight those, my lines that are already here. I am going to go down and make sure I'm going to hit my control key because I don't want to take the frame with me. So now I'm going to control C, this, bring it over here, control V it over here, and then I'm going to change it to my background color. And I want to get rid of this text. I'm not using it. And then you can do the same. You're just going to grab the first one, duplicate that, come on over, move it to the back or move it wherever you want to. You're going to delete it, delete it. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. What you're going to grab this, go into position, go down, Unhighlight your frame. So hold your control key, unhighlight it. You're going to get rid of these. And then what you want to do is come over to the one that is striped for that one. And then you're going to go highlight that. And then what you want to do is same thing. Control, unhighlight your frame. Then control C to copy it. And then bring it over to your frame, or that page. And then you're going to control V. And then you're going to hit your color. And change it to your background color. 
And then if you want the dual one, you can do the dual one where you just have them both and then you can just like duplicate this page and then highlight this, go into position, control, unhighlight your frame, trash that, and then come over to the previous one. Hold on, you're gonna come over to the one that has the stripes, highlight those, Grab that frame and hit your control and unhighlight that. Control C so you keep your position of where it is. Control C and then bring it over to that end one and control B. And then add your text like you want to throughout there and just watch away. So it'll change into that and then go into your next set. And you can just still use you can still use that the same way if you want to just use one side. Just you don't have to worry about that side. You can just change the frames out. Change the frames. You can even, if you keep the frames the same shape, maybe you can just change the shape over here. And honestly, you can make a little template of this if you really wanted to and use it over and over again. You just change the color. You know, you can just highlight. Whoa, whoa. You can just highlight all that stuff like that. Unhighlight. You control these two. And say you want to know, hey, my presentation is going to be blue and then change your background color to the blue and now you got something for another presentation or slideshow and it's just easier and if you want to put any bells and whistles on it i would do it after the fact just so you want to make sure this gets done so you can you know add some cutesy little elements or something on top of it so i'll stop babbling i thank you guys for stopping by you know I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one, hopefully. Bye, y'all.